Welcome to Core and Stretch. All right. <laughs> For our first exercise, you'll need a set of weights. For this one, there's two different ways you can do this. So the first way, you're going to start with a curl with shoulder press. So your elbows by your side. And bring the weight up to your shoulders. You'll press it overhead, come back down, and repeat. If you have any shoulder issues, or if that bothers your shoulders, do just the curl part of this exercise. All right, so you're either doing curl to press or just a curl. All right, so we're going to go for 40 seconds. And here we go. So bring this up. And you're pressing down and repeat. Very good. Nicely done. Everyone's looking good. And we'll go two more. Very good. All right, we're gonna set one weight off to the side. And up next, we'll do a tricep kickback. So for that, you have the weight in one hand, opposite leg will be in front of you. All right, you're gonna rest this hand on that bent leg. Then bring this weight up so it's by your side. Keep your elbow there. And you're gonna just bring this weight straight back and in. All right, so we're going to same thing, go for 40 seconds, then we'll switch arms. So the key is try to keep that arm by your side. You can even have your elbow on your leg or hold on to something in front of your next to you if it's more comfortable. We go two more. Very good. Now we'll switch sides. It's the same thing. Now we'll switch the other hands holding the weight. And bring it up by your side. And straight back in and I'm gonna go two more. Very good. All right, we'll take a quick second. Then we're gonna go through those exercises one more time before we move to the floor. So feel free if you want any water or anything, you can ask them that. So we'll go back to the first exercise. <clears throat> and same thing, going on that curl, then pressing it. Your shoulders are up for it. If not, you're doing just a curl up and down. Stand 40 seconds. And you want your elbows by your side. You can even add in a pelvic tilt. So that's squeezing the core muscles. Get a little bit of a core work and it helps protect your low back as well. And we'll go two more. Very good. I'm going to set one of these weights down to the side. All right. Go back to those tricep kickbacks. And again, one opposite leg in front. Bring this weight up by your side. We're going to bring that straight back and in. And you want some sort of forward lean, whether you're holding on to that front leg, whether your elbow's on it, or you're holding on to something by your side. Yeah, whatever's most comfortable for you. Good. 
go two more. Very good. And time to switch sides. And bring this up by your side and we're going straight back and in. Let's go two more. Very good. All right, I'm going to set these weights off to the side. Now we're going to work our way down to the floor for our next exercises. So we'll do a few more exercises, then we'll finish with a stretch. All right, uh, our first exercise, start on our backs. There's three different ways to do this one. All right, so the first way, you start on your back. Again, you can have that pelvic tilt, so that space from the back and the floor, shifts your hips down and squeeze your stomach. That protects the back and engages the core. First way is just a march. All right, so you're gonna bring your one leg up off the floor, lower it down and repeat. If that feels easy, you can then bring your legs to their bent 90 degrees in the air. You're gonna lower one down, you'll tap the floor and bring them back up. If that also feels easy, you can straighten out your legs, lower one to the floor, raise it up and repeat. So there's three ways to do this exercise. You can find the way that feels best for you. You can also start one way, switch to another and again, so again, we have 40 seconds with this one. Here we go. And you go from one to the other. And we're gonna go one more each side. Very good. All right, next up, let's uh, let's grab those weights. I'm gonna do a quick upper body exercise with it. All right. So we'll start, we'll do a chest press. So for this one, I have the same starting position. You're on your back with your knees bent. Now have each weight in your hand. All right, you're gonna start with your elbows bent. You're gonna push these weights so they're straight up over your shoulders and back down, all right? If you have any shoulder issues, you can bring your arms so they're closer by your side. That will activate triceps a little more in this exercise. And you're just gonna bring them straight up over your shoulders and back down. Nope, just straight up throw over your shoulders. Yep, so we'll go for 40 seconds with this one. Here we go, so yeah, just pushing it straight over your shoulders and back down by your side. And if you have, if this does bother your shoulders, you can do a bridge instead if you'd like. So you'll set the weights down and instead you could do a bridge. So you just lift your hips and back up off the floor and back down. And we'll go two more. Very good, set these weights off to the side. So we'll go through those exercises one more time each, all right? So again, for the first one, a few different ways you can do it, either that march or the bent leg lowers, or the most challenging, leg straight, lowering one, then the other. 
All right, so there's three different ones you can do. We'll go for 40 seconds on this one. And here we go. So you got either a march or your legs bent at 90 degrees, or you can have them straight. Let's go one more each side. Very good. All right, our next one, you got two different exercises you can do. First one is a chest press. So you're gonna hold these weights, I want your elbows starting by your side. All right, we're gonna use more of the triceps today. You're gonna push these weights so they're straight up over your shoulders and then back down towards the floor. If this bothers your shoulders, instead you can do a bridge. So you're just gonna have your knees bent, lift your hips and back up off the floor and back down. All right, so either the chest press or the bridge, depending on how it feels in your shoulders. And 40 seconds here we are. So you're just raising this up and down. Again, you can have that pelvic tilt, engage that core, protect the low back. Do a little core work with this exercise as well by having that pelvic tilt. If you can't hold it the entire time, you can always relax after each rep and then re-engage it. And let's go two more. Very good place these off to the side. We're all done with the weights now. All right. We'll do one more round of exercises. I'm gonna go on to our sides next. All right. So for this one, I have this top leg straight. Bottom leg can be either straight or bent, whatever is most comfortable for you. All right. You know, lift this top leg up and then you're gonna bend it in towards your chest, kind of like you're marching. So then you're gonna bend it up, in, out, and down. All right, so there's a few steps. So up, in, out, and down. All right, same thing, 40 seconds. And bend it as far as you feel comfortable. So you have to bring it all the way in towards your chest. If it's only just a little movement here, again, bring it as much as it, as good as that feels. Yep, and, and down. Everyone's looking good. Let's go two more. Very good. All right, we're gonna take a rest and then we'll do that one one more time and then we'll switch sides, do it on the other side. All right, we'll give our legs another, another, let's go another 10 seconds. And three, two, one, here we go. So lifting up, bending in, straightening out and lowering. And you got two more. Very good. So we'll switch sides and then we'll finish with a stretch. All right, so same thing. Well, that top leg straight, bottom leg either bent or straight, and here we go. So lift this up, 
bend it in, straighten it out, and lower. And we got two more. All right. We'll take a rest and do that one more time. And got 10 seconds. And three, two, and one. Here we go. So lift it up, bend it in, straighten it out, and down. And we got two more. Right. Very good. We'll finish with a stretch on our backs. Feel free if you want any water or anything. All righty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So first stretch be on our backs. Two ways to do this one. So the first one, you're gonna start with your knees bent, grab behind the bent leg, and gently pull it towards your chest. If you want more of a stretch, you straighten out the opposite leg and you get a little more of a stretch with it. You have the opposite leg either bent or straight. And switch sides. We'll do these ones two times each side. And switch, we got one more each side. And switch. All set on this one. Our next one has a very similar setup. You're going to take your bent leg. Opposite arm is going to reach towards the outside of that leg. It's going to gently pull it towards your opposite shoulder. Feel a stretch down the outside of that leg near that 
kind of outside of your hip near your glutes. And switch sides. And we'll switch one more time each side on this one. And switch. Set on this one. All right. Our next one, you'll have your leg bent. I'm going to bring your ankle so it's just below that knee. You might feel a stretch right away. You can leave your leg there, or you can gently push the knee away from you, or you can grab behind the bent knee and gently pull it towards your chest. And switch sides. And switch sides, go one more time each side. And switch.
And all set. Nicely done, everybody. You're welcome. Turn us off. Yeah. <laughs>